we'll take a look at ColorFX Pro 3.0 and we'll go ahead and add a control point to the line cubs to warm them up just a little bit. On the left hand side of my screen you'll notice I've got the different filter effects and in this lesson we'll choose Brilliance Warmth. And what this will do is this will warm up the line cubs just a bit and it'll leave the background alone. Over on the right hand side of my screen I've got control points. There's a minus control point which sets the opacity to 0%, which means it removes the filter effect from the image. And to the right of that is a plus button, and this will actually add the filter effect to my image. So in this lesson, we'll go ahead and choose the plus sign. I'll add a control point to the line cub, and as I click and hold down the control point and move it around to the position that I want it to be in, it's actually looking for similar pixel information in that area of influence which you see there on the screen. And it actually looks for texture, saturation, hue, luminosity, as well as the uh, blue, red, and green channels. Over on the right hand side, I'll go ahead and add a little bit of warmth to my image. By clicking and dragging this to the right, you'll notice that the cubs are being warmed up, but the background is being left alone. And an easy way to find out what is actually happening is go to the top of your screen under Modes, click on the drop down menu, and select Effect Mask. And you'll see that the white areas are actually revealing the filter effect and any of the gray or black areas are concealing it. So this is a very quick and effective way to add or remove filter effects from your image using control points within ColorFX Pro 3.0.